A horrible scene in Las Vegas. Concert goers become the target of a man with a high powered rifle. 58 people are confirmed dead this afternoon and hundreds of people are injured. Everybody, I'm Yetta Gibson. Thanks for joining us here at noon. We are following the latest on the worst mass shooting in modern American history. Last night in Las Vegas, 58 people are dead, 515 people injured after a man opened fire on the crowd at the Route 91 Harvest Festival concert on the Las Vegas Strip. This is a look at exactly where the shooting happened this afternoon. Uh, the concert was on the strip directly across from the Luxor Resort and Casino. The gunman in a room on the 32nd floor of the Mandalay Bay Resort, which gave him a very clear view of the crowd about a thousand feet away. CBS 5's Jeff Van Zandt is live in Las Vegas with the latest on this shooting. Jeff. Yeah, we're on the south end of the Vegas Strip, and you can take a look behind me. We're not too far away from the Mandalay Bay uh, Hotel. Of course, that's where the shooter was. And what we're hearing from people that we've talked to is that it was utter chaos, and people were running across uh, the main avenue there, even running onto the uh, tarmac of the nearby airport. So here is what we know. The shooting started uh, during the Route 91 Harvest Festival. Thousands of people were attending, and of course, they were shocked to hear automatic gunfire break out. Uh, there were so many videos out there that you can see that it was absolute chaos. People were hiding, uh, running for their lives. Uh, the injured were being carried away, placed on makeshift stretchers, uh, whatever people could find. Uh, we know the gunman, 64-year-old Stephen Paddock, uh, opened fire from the 32nd story uh, of that hotel, and police say that he did take his own life. Uh, they, when they got inside there, they did find uh, at least 10 rifles. Uh, for the victims, what was supposed to be a fun night of music turned into an absolute nightmare. In the car, somebody's leg was bleeding out, so I took off my tank top to tie it off. And so when I got to the hospital, I was just in like a tube top thing. So I saw this on the ground and covered up with it. And then somebody's arm was bleeding out, so I took off the tube top and tied that off. They couldn't get to everybody in the hospital. How are you feeling? <laughs> <Tied. laughs> I'm ready to go. And, you know, the big thing right now is what was the motive behind all of this? Well, of course, everybody is looking into this uh, into this gunman's past, and what they can find is that he had no criminal record. We really don't know much about him at this point. He did like to gamble, but that's about it. Uh, they know that he at least owned a few handguns. So that's what his brother was saying, but, of course, uh, this has shocked everyone. Now, when it comes to the investigation, the FBI is asking for people to come forward who were at that concert if they have any kind of videos that they can bring forward to hopefully shed more light on what happened last night. And of course, we do know that there's some uh, blood donations going on here as well, especially with the 515 injured. Guys, back to you.